What's up guys, it's Criddle here from the Anime Ball Z team with another This Is. This time is a series that takes place in the modern era and has ninjas. This time, this is Nabari. Off the tracks. So Nabari is the story of Miharu who is a kid with a essentially a really ridiculous power sort of sealed inside of him and all these other ninjas are trying to covet this power so they can become all powerful and super saiyan sort of people in a ninja sort of realm. It's essentially the tailed beast of this series where the power is immense and people want to use that power for nefarious reasons. So in order to keep Miharu safe Koichi Aizawa and Tobari Kumohira are on the scene to look after him. We also are introduced to Raimi who is a samurai who joins the group and this group of four people consisting of a pitifully minded sort of Shinji-esque Miharu um, and the other characters Tobari who is a teacher and Koichi who is just his friend from school or a guy that wants to be his friend from school and Raimi who is nice loud and obnoxious and you know a classic loudmouth female character from any sort of series are all there to sort of help him on his journey and make sure that no harm comes to him as they explore the Nabari world and try and work out how to remove this power from him without killing him and essentially stop the world falling into war as a result of this power. So the series is quite good, um, lots of good fight scenes, lots of ninja type fight scenes and then some really powerful characters in this series who have their own abilities. So it but moves away from just being this like, you know, fighting type anime like Ikitaosen or any, literally any fighting anime to more of a Naruto style ninja series where ninjas have superpowers um, and it sort of bridges between that and the real world. It's a little bit confusing but hey it's it's quite a good series and definitely worth checking out. But enough about my brief explanation of what goes on in this story and the characters involved, let's look at those characters a little bit deeper as we look at the good, the bad, and the dubbers. So Miharu is voiced by Brina Palencia, who is Juvia in Fairy Tale, Sora from O Edo Rocket, and Chopper from One Piece. Aizawa is voiced by Chris Burnett, who is Takeshi from Initial D, Yuji from Bamboo Blade, and Ryo from Baka and Test. Raimi is voiced by Kate Oxley, who is Erika from Soul Eater, Renka from History's Strongest Disciple Kenichi, and Catherine L. Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. Kumohira is voiced by Eric Vale, the voice of Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, Akatsuki from Aesthetica of a Rogue Hero, and Sanji from One Piece. So this is one of those series where I actually had to watch it twice to really get into the series. Um, it was a real struggle for me to do it. It just sort of had this really heavy backstory that was I, f I felt held back my watching experience and I really struggled to get into this series at first. Once I got past the first two or three episodes, the series really picked up and I got a much more broad sense of what was going on and I liked the series a lot more as a result of that. I am giving this series a 6 out of 9, it's getting the low score because it did take me a couple of episodes and a couple of watchings to get into the series, but don't let that stop you checking this series out, it is very cool. Ninjas in the modern era with superpowers, definitely check it out. I'm Criddle, this has been Nabari, and I'll catch you on the flip side.